Hi everyone, my name is Eddie Cazelli. I made ProShot, and in this video I will be giving you a brief overview of the app as well as tips on how to get the most out of your camera. Starting with the interface, you'll notice a minimal but informative design. This is intended to keep you free of distractions and focused on your subject. For basic operation, you may use a pinch gesture to zoom or just drag one finger up and down. To take a photo, tap the camera button. To review your image, swipe right to access the camera roll. In the camera roll, you'll see photo information such as aperture and shutter speed, as well as buttons for sharing and deleting. Swipe left to return to the camera. To adjust camera settings, tap the settings bar on the right to open the menu. Here you can adjust shooting preferences and parameters such as grid overlay, raw capture, and more. Tap anywhere outside the menu to close it. The power in ProShot lies in its dual dial system. This is a unique mapping of traditional DSLR controls to a touch interface. On the top right is the camera mode dial. Here you can quickly switch between camera modes, much like a normal DSLR. On the bottom is a drive mode dial. Here you can change your shooting mode. There's bracketing, timer, time lapse, and video. We'll stick with normal mode for now. For advanced shooters, you may want more manual control. This is where ProShot's manual modes come in. Open the camera mode dial and select manual. You will notice the bar on the right now has several more items. I'll briefly go over them now. First, there's flash. Here you can adjust your flash settings. Next is ISO. This controls the electronic gain of the image sensor. The higher the value, the brighter your image will be at the cost of more image noise. Next is white balance. Use this to adjust for the color temperature of your scene. And then there's shutter speed. This will control how long your exposure is. Larger values will produce brighter images, while smaller values will freeze motion. It all depends on how you want to capture your subject. For RAW shooters, ProShot is able to simultaneously capture RAW and JPEG, or RAW only. Simply select your option, press the camera button, and they'll quickly be captured and saved. RAW files appear in ProShot's camera roll as a fast preview. Since these files are so large, this optimization was made to allow for faster browsing. For editing raw images on your phone, tap the share button. Apps like Photoshop Express make this process fast and easy. Finally, let's put our knowledge of ProShot together and use this scene to create a beautiful time lapse. Thank you for watching.